Autodesk Simulation CFD natively integrates with ProEngineer. This means that we're able to integrate the CAD geometry and material properties with just a few simple rules, allowing them to work directly together. With just the click of a button, you can see that we have the option to launch an active model, meaning the model on the screen, launch instances, or multiple designs of the model, or CAD entities. Now in Simulation CFD, you can see we are working with the CAD geometry and material properties already defined. But in addition, any of the empty space in the CAD solid model has automatically been filled, creating another volume. This volume is going to represent the water in our valve. Next, we have to define an inlet and an outlet for this fluid. On one side, we're going to define a volume flow rate of 380 liters per minute. This is going to represent the inlet area for our model. On the opposite side, we're going to define a pressure value. Using the same operations, we can change our boundary condition to pressure and apply zero pascals. As you can see, after the loads are defined, a line on the surface represents what type of load is placed there. We're now ready to solve our model. Pressing the Solve button, we can choose how many iterations we want for our converged solution, and then press Solve. In the results environment, you can see that the default results are velocity magnitude. If we go over to the global results, we can change this to static pressure or any of the other global results available. In addition, there are many other options that you can work with, such as velocity trace lines to give you a better idea of how your water is flowing through the valve. Also, you can look at velocity vectors, or as we want to reduce chatter on the poppet of this valve, we can look at the poppet pressure. Zooming in, we can see how the pressure is on that surface. One of the most powerful features of simulation CFD is the decision center. Here we can look at all of the different designs that we have for this model and help to determine which one is the best for our situation.